Welcome to iLecture Online and here's another example how you do related rates in calculus. And let's read the problem. It says a stone is dropped into a pond sending out circular ripples moving outward at two feet per second. How fast is the area enclosed by those ripples changing 10 seconds later? All right, let's draw a little picture of what's going on. So we have a pond and you drop a rock into the pond and ripples begin to move out farther and farther out and they're moving out and it says that they're moving outward at two feet per second so we can say that the dr dt the change of the radius with respect to time is equal to a constant two feet per second and what they want to know is they want to know how fast the area enclosed by those ripples is changing so they want to know what the dA dt is And so since they give you the RDT and they want to know the ADT, we need to come up with an equation that relates those two together, or before we get the DR and the ADT, at least we want to have an equation that, that relates the area and the radius together. So since we're dealing with the area of a circle, we can say that the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. And if we now take the derivative of both sides of that equation with respect to time, then we can find the dr dt related to dA dt. So let's do that. So we take the dA dt, and that is equal to the derivative of the right side, which is pi, and the derivative of r squared is 2r dr dt. Since we're taking the derivative of a and r to a third variable time, we are going to end up with a dA dt and a dr dt. Now, we want to find out what dA dt is, so we already have the equation set in the right in the right form. So all we need to know is what dr dt is, which is given, two feet per second, and what r is. But they don't tell us that they want to find the rate of change of the area with respect to time. What the r is at that moment, they do tell us that it's 10 seconds later. So we need to find out what the r is 10 seconds later. So since distance equals velocity times time, and the velocity is two feet per second, two feet per second, and the time is 10 seconds, we could then say that the distance after 10 seconds is 20 feet, and that would be the r in our equation. So the distance, which is 20 feet, is then the radius of the ripple, because that goes out at 2 feet per second. So we have everything we need to know now. The dA dt, when r equals 20 feet, is equal to pi times 2 times the radius r, which is 20, times the dr dt, which is 2 feet per second, right here. I have to go find it. All right, so that would be 80 times pi, 80 times pi, and that is, of course, in square feet per second, because it's the area change per unit time, and, of course, pi is about 3.14, so that would say that's approximately equal to about 250 square feet per second. There we go. That's how you do a problem like that. Now, again, to recap, they gave us a problem where we drop a rock into a pond and we have circle ripples moving outward. Uh, they tell us the rate of change or the, the rate at which the ripples move outward, two feet per second, and they want to know the change in area per unit time. So we come up with an equation relating area times the, times the radius. We take the derivative of both sides with respect to time to get the ADT and the RDT. Then we figure out the RDT, which was given, and the radius after, 20, after 10 seconds being 20 feet. Plug those two values in our equation, and we get the change of the area with respect to time. That's how you do those.